Ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, it is my honor to address you all tonight, as is tradition, in marking the celebration of marriage between my beautiful bride, Sarah, and I. As the parents of the bride, we couldn't be happier to see our daughter so radiant and in love. Sarah has always been a source of immense pride and joy for myself and Rosemary, with her single-minded focus on achievements, her natural kindness and her long-lasting friendships, which are really well. We know Sarah has found a wonderful partner in Simon and we welcome Simon into our family. Totally. Thank you. My husband. <laughs> yeah. I remember so vividly the day we met almost seven years ago. I was working away down in Wheelahins Wine Bar and you came in, <laughs> I'm pretty sure hung over, with another girl, a friend. <laughs> I didn't even know who you were then, but I felt like I did and I hoped it wouldn't be the last time I saw you. You are the most loyal, kind, caring, selfless person I know. And you're not too bad looking either. <laughs> the greatest gift in the world is being loved by you. I have the most fun when I'm with you, and you never fail to make me laugh. I love you. <laughs> gone by many names to me. Sarah, Saz, Sazler, Sazer, Browner, Bebe, and now wife. Who would have known all these years later after meeting in a cafe in Cherrywood, you would both end up marrying one another. It's obvious to many that you have breathtaking good looks, but beyond that, your most attractive traits for me will always be your character and your spirit. You have a way of disarming people with your personality. You never have an agenda when meeting or helping someone. You truly believe in the power of demonstrating kindness, love and care to everyone, regardless of where they are from or who they are. And most importantly, you always seek to make the best out of people. But it is important for you to know in front of everyone here how much I personally value you and I hope you know that today and always, I will continuously push to become the man and person you deserve, because I love you with every fiber of my being. So please, for my last toast of my speech, raise your glasses to my bride, to my wife, to my best friend, to my star, to my Sarah. Thank you very much.